In this video, I want to show you how you can manifest millions of dollars just like Vin Diaz using the Bible. And for, the, for those of you who do not know who Vin Diaz is, he is a pastor in Trinidad and Tobago, as a matter of fact, the pastor for the Third Exodus Assembly, who approached the bank with 28 million one, 100 TT dollars because they were going to change the currency and there was one more day left for the deadline and that's when he approached the bank with those 28 million 100 dollar bill so he was avoiding the bank for many years but he find it very much convenient to approach the same system that he was condemning and he makes sure he got his lawyers also. So, me being one who would have been a part of the Third Exodus Assembly in my country and who used to attend meetings at the Third Exodus Assembly in Trinidad in, for convention, I know what they believe and what they teach. And they teach the Bible as a book of... Uh, secular history they teach the bible as being literal but i want to show you how when you understand that the bible is a book of mind science and that everything is energy vibration and frequency how you can manifest whatever you desire just like vin Diel. because when you do exactly what i'm going to tell you here to do the way will be shown to you of how to give service and value and uh, you would be repaid by the law of compensation that says that you must first give and it's gonna come back to you good measure pressed down shaking and together running over men give into your bosom but it is you giving up your energy because everything is energy vibration and frequency so it's very important for you to understand alchemy so what happened is that if you would read Job chapter 33 verses 14 to 16 you would realize how your subconscious mind really works and how your instructions are sealed just before you go to bed when you're in that drowsy sleepy state it is when you're changing dimension you're changing from the three-dimensional world into the four-dimensional world of possibilities therefore Whatever intention or whatever state of mind you fall asleep in, that is the state of mind that you would awake in and continue the rest of your day. So basically, you're, 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 you're going to bed and you're waking up is what is basically shaping your life. So if you have a religious superstitious mentality and you go to bed night after ni uh, night with that superstitious mentality it will keep you in mental slavery keep you in mediocrity will keep you limited and so on but if you have a mindset of abundance prosperity good health and you look at nature and you see nature always reflect abundance and prosperity and you realize how important it is for you to align with nature and you do that and you take your desire with you night after night and you fall asleep consciously. If you can do that night after night, you prove what I am saying to you and you prove that the creator is, in, is within you and that truly God in man is man's imagination. Most of all, you realize that imagination creates reality and that we become what we think about most of the time. So it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and creating your personality. Therefore, you will never blame an outside entity you will know that the devil is actually your negative self so try say five minutes or even up to two minutes before you go to bed a form that which you desire in your life and i'm telling you the way will be shown to you do not think about how or when it would be done and then when you discover that you would realize that you've been giving praises to some entity outside of yourself and believing in a man two thousand years ago when it is you, uh, the, when you are actually the one who is creating your life, but you've been doing it ignorantly. No, I'm teaching you how to do it consciously and prove it for yourself. Peace.